Hey everyone, Michael here. In this video, we will be talking about PayPal. If you're using PayPal for your online e-commerce store, you have to watch this video. A lot of people have this love and hate relationship with PayPal just because PayPal can hold your money anytime. But there is a reason why they do it. So we'll be talking about that in this video. Now, if you did not subscribe to my YouTube channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and click on that notification bell to get all my latest updates. So let's get started. Alright, so from time to time, I'll actually go into Facebook to the various groups I'm in just to see what kind of questions people might have. And one of the reoccurring issues and concerns I'm seeing people having is issues with PayPal. Now, PayPal, a lot of people have this love and hate relationship just because a lot of customers use PayPal. It's so easy to use and a large portion of the revenue actually come from PayPal. But the downside is it's also very easy for your customers to open a dispute with you. So we'll talk about how to avoid that and how to win most of your dispute in just a second. But when you think about it, when you open a brand new business account with PayPal, and if you suddenly make a lot of money, that will raise a red flag. But if your business is doing good, you can't do anything about that. But if you start getting refunds and chargebacks and um, dispute coming in, that is something that you need to uh, fix right away. So if you know the rules, if you play by the system, then you don't have to worry too much about your PayPal being limited or being uh, on hold. So let me pull up my whiteboard right now to talk about a few important points so this doesn't happen to you. The first point is to always have your tracking number ready. So if you are drop shipping, you have to send your product out via ePacket. This is not only faster shipping, but you also get tracking number from your vendor as well. And that is very important when closing those disputes. And if you're doing print on demand, that tracking number will be in your Shopify store. So many times when you're dropshipping, dispute are open because your customers are waiting too long. But that is just the nature of the game. Sometimes customers just don't want to wait or sometimes they don't know they have to wait three weeks for their products and they just go ahead and open dispute without even emailing you. That happens all the time. So what you can do is take your e-packet or tracking number and put it into PayPal and let PayPal know that you have shipped and just that shipping time takes a while. But once the product have arrived, it's really easy for you to close that dispute with PayPal. So that brings us to the second point, close disputes fast. When customers open a dispute with you through PayPal, you want to respond to it right away. Sometimes it may be just a simple question just to make sure that you are legit and that they are getting their product. And if they're asking for tracking number, you want to enter that and let PayPal know it's shipped. And once it have arrived and received by your customer, that dispute will be closed very soon. Now, the third point is less so to do with your dispute, but more so to get your account back. This is to call PayPal. You want to call PayPal and talk to them. They will help you out and get your account back. Sometimes they will hold your funds because you have too many dispute, but they will work with you to get those dispute closed. Now, sometimes you might get a PayPal rep that don't know what they're talking about. So what you have to do is just say thank you and call back at a later time. Many reps that I have dealt with at PayPal is actually pretty friendly if you're friendly to them as well. But sometimes you might get a bad apple that is just really hard to work with. So all you have to do is call back at a later time to get your issues resolved. If your account is on hold, 
you can get it back just by closing on your disputes and providing the required information. So your products have to show delivered before they will release your account back to you. And again, call them to speed up the process. And here's a bonus tip for you. Transfer your funds daily. This is because you don't want PayPal to hold a large amount of your funds when you're working with them to get your account back or working with them to get your funds released. So don't worry about using PayPal. If you know the rules, if you follow these steps, you will have no problem. A lot of people actually use PayPal to pay for their products. So you don't want to miss out on that portion. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also click on that notification bell if you want my latest updates. And a lot of content are coming, so stay tuned and I'll talk to you soon.